Seraphim 17 once again, introducing you to another Prepare to Die edition boss analysis. This time we're up against the most infamous of Gwyn's knights, Knight Artorius, and this guy is pretty intimidating because all the attacks that you'll see him do are predominantly physical and they can be chained together in patterns that are quite unorthodox, so you may see attacks here that you might not have seen chained in such a way. But enough talking on this section, let's get straight to the analysis. So the first attack by Artorius we're covering is the jump attack. You'll notice he squats down, does a little shriek, and then propels himself. And the best time to dodge is at the last possible second, obviously. Uh, a lot of these dodges are going to be made with the Darkwood Grain Ring on, but they are possible to be done with it off. You just have to time your dodges slightly later than I am. And if you want a video showing you of you know a successful run with that, without the ring I'm using right now, uh, I will link it in the description when I upload it, because I do have a pretty impressive fight against Artorius. This move here is part of his three hit combo. He can do anywhere in between one and three slashes in that technique. He can also adapt it and do additional ones that you will not expect. For instance, he can do the Sif spin move. He can do the, the quick stinger move where he thrusts the sword at you. There is a lot of different techniques, as you can see Artorius, you know, unleashing all of them here. And one of the hardest parts about fighting him, as we see the, the, the proper stinger move where he lunges across the battle arena, is... A lot of his moves have more influence than you'd think. They have like splash auras around them that you can't see. They are areas of influence where you will take damage. And this right here is his taunt. If you see Artorius start to taunt, you have to get up to him and break his poise. Uh, his poise will be broken in different ratings depending on how much you know damage your weapon deals depending on how quickly you can swing it and things of that nature so if you have a poise crushing weapon you'll be able to capitalize but if you don't you can get killed but I will show that later on as you can see uh, we're, we're analyzing the sift spin that is his walking forward slam move this does have a splash radius on it so be careful uh, if, I'd not, if I'd not been using this ring then that, I would have taken damage uh, this is his triple acrobatic slam. This is a really bad move, this, because depending on how close and how aggressive you are to Artorius will depend on how many times he does it. Uh, the slow motion one on here is him doing all three of the attacks and me getting really lucky at how I dodge them. You can strafe out of their way and get lucky, but it's always better to try and evade. Uh, this move here is going to catch out a lot of people. If you stand behind Artorius, randomly he will do this extremely quick spin and jumping backwards slash. Be, be mindful of it, it does a lot of damage. Uh, this move here is probably the hardest move to evade, because if you don't go the right direction at the right time, it's going to clip you regardless. Uh, that move there is an extremely fast, cheeky stinger poke. He does that when you're close, be careful of it, it does some serious damage. And right here is me showing you when he runs away from you. If Artorius ever does two backflips or two rolls, he's going to evade and he's going to do this. This is what it means. Two flips, he's going to buff himself and you have to interrupt it. And this is me showing you a successful interruption. If your weapon is more powerful uh, or is a good one, you can generally do it in two to three hits. If it's not, this happens. And that's with Dark Moon Blade, so only ever interrupt him when you're confident you can break his poise. Uh, this move here is another separation technique. He does a cheeky slash spin and then flips away from you. Uh, this move is the Sif spin that we've seen earlier. This is it on its own. Uh, just evade at the last possible moment, as you just saw there, using iframes to not take damage. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as Sif's, because Sif's reach is worse. Uh, right there, watch him. One flip. Immediately as he does the second flip, I know he's going to buff, so I run directly at him to interrupt him. That's the, the little cue that you have to look for. If you see that, you can take advantage. Uh, this is when he flings shit at you. He only does this when you stood generally behind him, and you can block it, but it generally drains a lot of stamina, so I would evade. Uh, this is his uh, walking sword slam that can be turned into a combo. There you go. He turned it not only from the slam into a slash and then into the 360 Sif slash, which is just another example of how progressive this boss is. Because Artorius can do some moves that you've not even seen because he's linking the moves he has, you know, available to him. And this is just one really good example of, of that being displayed. But know when to roll, time it effectively, and you shouldn't have any problems with Artorius. Thanks for watching, and you take care now.